Hello friends, in this session we are going to learn Google Cloud Platform regions and zones. So let's start. Firstly, we will see introduction to Google Cloud Platform. So in that Google Cloud Platform, the cloud computing service of Alphabet provides compute storage and networking services through its data center in over 20 countries and 35 locations around the world. Growth in Google Cloud region and the company's core product and platforms such as Gmail, Google Drive, Google Map, Google Photos, Google Play, Search, and YouTube are fulfilling the company's needs for more data center capacity. So let's we see now what are the regions and zones in Google Cloud Platform. So see here in that uh, region, it's specific geographical locations where you can run your resources. Each region is subdivided into several zones. For example, take, take example, South Asia South 1 Mumbai region. In that region, there are multiple zones are present here, like uh, three zones, uh, South Asia South 1A, Asia South 1B, and Asia South 1C, like that. Uh, this we will see in practical in our Compute Engine. Okay, so let's see next. Why we, why do we need Google Cloud Platform region and zone? Take, let's take one example. Uh, like a single data center okay so uh, consider your application is deployed in data center in asia south one mumbai in asia specific region like that and in that uh, we deploy this application and this is a one data center and this is a where we can deploy this asia specific region for the Asia, South, Mumbai. Okay. So, see uh, what are the challenges we are face here. First challenges is that after deploying application at Asia Pacific region, Mumbai, users from other parts of the world could experience some level slowness. It's also called, we say, high latency. Okay. So, and second one is that if data center crashes, if data center crashes in Asia South one region Mumbai application, then it will go down. Means low availability. Okay. So let's discuss to overcome this low availability. Uh, for that, we take a one another example for that multiple data center in Asia Pacific region cloud. Okay. Means in that we take only one region. In that one region, we have multiple data centers here. I take these two data centers here, okay? So let's check here. Then uh, first challenge is after the deploying at, uh, application at Asia Pacific region in multiple data center, user from other parts of the world could experience some levels of slowness, okay? Then means it means what? Then here, Asia Pacific region and another Euro Pacific region, but uh, the, that data is not available on the Euro, Euro Pacific uh, Europe region. Okay, so if only we deploy the application or a web application only Asia Pacific region. That that's why it's disadvantage. And second one is that if data center crashes. South Asia Mumbai application, then your application still available for the another data center. If this, this data center is crashed, then our application is run on this data center. Okay, like that. This, uh, this second challenge we will record here. Okay, then third challenge is what? If it's the entire region of the Asia Pacific region is un unavailable, then your application is go down. Okay, its application is goes down. Then what? 
what is for the uh, this uh, record take another example for the third example multiple region in google cloud platform let's add the another region like a euro and here have multiple data center in each region okay each region so first challenge is here overcome because we use here multiple regions asia pacific region and europe region okay now after that uh, sec second is one data center is crash here then another is available and it's multiple region um, application is deployed here then your application still available from the another data center okay like here this application is uh, crash then here application is available and also another region application is available means it's overcome the third challenge okay so this un un unavailable then your application is served from the europe region okay then but uh, this uh, setting up data centers in multiple region it's not uh, an easy task before we can utilize cloud providers help to do this this is cost effective or easy way how we can see some other some letter of the time this <coughs> now we will see how many data centers does google cloud have then see it's currently 35 regions in operation and nine under development okay so means to total of 44 regions in at the end of the 2024 okay so within each google cloud region are three to four deployment area that map to the cluster of data center with distinct physical infrastructure like uh, power cooling and networking known, known by the google as zone and commonly referred by the other uh, cloud service providers as availability zones okay so we will see now choose the right region for your application based on the where you are where are your user located okay where you are user located second one is where your data is located and third one regularity and security compliance needs okay then availability zones in google cloud platform availability zones is where uh, isolated location in a region and each google region has at least three availability zones okay then availability zones increase the availability of the application in the same region as we see earlier last three examples okay then from that uh, conclusion we will see advantages of the regions and zones see google cloud platform has multiple regions around the world and it helps to make application high available okay so from that from third example one data center crashes then available for the another region and we will serve here okay so second is helps to achieve low latency and serve the user from the nearest location and next one are there to government regulation different countries to have different data policies okay so let's check we how to select the region and its zone then when we create the instance at time here region option is uh, selected here and zone from that so see see there are multiple regions of the from the americas like that okay so i will take us west for okay select here and see here here at least three different zones are present here at least three difference then the europe region okay from the euro then here different region are present here pick one here and see 
stones are at least three. Three or more than three. Okay. So see another region from the middle east. Then I will select the me west one. Then see here. Here is three zones available. After that, is there Pacific region? These zones are available here. Like that, in that way, we can select the zones. Okay. Select the regions and zones. So, today's session, we were learn. Google Cloud platform regions and zones. Okay, so thank you for the watching video.